channel welcome back to another video today's video is very exciting I am filming a pack with me because tomorrow I am leaving to go to America for a month I'm going on a holiday me and my cousin are doing a Kentucky and then the rest of the family or well, most of the rest of the family are meeting us in Hawaii at the end so I've pretty much packed everything um, but I just want to show you guys how I'm packing it and what I'm taking because I know that everyone likes these videos so I thought that I would do one. So this is kind of just like me finalizing everything I'm taking and showing you what I'm taking. So let's get straight into it. This is how I pack my suitcase. It It is from American Tourister. It's the two single ones. It's like the hard case and I've packed almost everything in these little travel pouches and we are gonna go through everything that I'm taking my leather jacket that I'm taking this one is just from Bardo simple leather jacket because I am going to New York so I need something that is going to keep me warm because it is still quite cold in New York this is going to be like my warm jacket that I'm taking for the whole trip so in these two pouches I have some dresses I'm a little bit OCD and I really wanted to keep everything in these little travel pouches these are all from eBay as well by the way um, I will link them down in the description bar so if you want to grab these if you're traveling anywhere I definitely recommend it these two we have dresses so I'm taking I'm also packing like a little extra bag because my mum is meeting us in Hawaii at the end so anything that I want just for Hawaii I'm gonna give to her and she's gonna bring it so I don't have to have it for the whole trip so it doesn't weigh my bag down um, but I'm just taking this red dress from Bardo and then I'm also taking this black dress that I've showed previously in a video. This is from Glassens and the way that I'm packing everything is by rolling it up just because that's makes everything a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to pack. So I just make it like as thin as possible. And then I usually like to start from where the straps are. And then you just kind of, kind of like a fold, half fold, half roll kind of thing. The other two dresses that I'm taking are, well actually no, one is a dress, one is like a, what's it called? A jumpsuit. I'm not going to unfold it all the way because this one's going to be really annoying to fold back up. But basically it's just a long wrap dress. This one is from Shopo. And then I'm also taking this jumpsuit. It's just plain white. Um, and I think both of these will be really cool for um, Miami and LA. I should probably tell you guys where I'm actually going. Um, we're going to LA, Miami, Vegas, New York and Hawaii. So yeah, these I think will be really cool for LA and Miami. Then the last little tiny pouch. So I'm just taking like a nighty and then some long pants and a long sleeve shirt for my pajamas. I guess I'm not going to like fully go into the underwear that I'm taking. Um, and this one is kind of messy because I've got a mix of like bikinis and then underwear and I've got all my bras in here too. And then I've got like some socks and stuff. So that's all kind of just in there. In this one I have all of my long sleeve shirts. Everything's a little bit crushed too but like I can iron it and stuff when I get there. Um, so I'm taking this jumper for New York. So if I wear like this and then my leather jacket and then a scarf and like pants and boots in New York I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. If I'm cold I'll just have to deal with it. And then I'm also taking this wrap top which you've seen um, this is from Glassens. I showed this in one of my previous videos as well. And then I also have this. See what I mean? Like, look how crushed everything is. Um, just this long sleeve shirt says visionary. And then I've also got just a plain grey long sleeve shirt. And then this black shirt, which is also quite thick. This one is from Kukai. So just plain black. And then it's got like this little tie up thing so you can just like tie it up in a bow super cute now for my pants my bottoms 
Well, this one and this one are the two biggest ones because it's what I'm taking the most of. I am taking this skirt from Glasson. I'm taking a lot of just like plain t-shirts so I can double up on everything and, you know, pair all these different t-shirts with all these different bottoms. So, And then I'm taking these plaid pants. They're, they're super comfortable and they're warm as well so I can wear these in New York. And then I'm taking a light wash pair of jeans, dark wash pair of jeans, white wash pair of jeans, these um, workout tights. And then I'm also taking another light wash pair of jeans but these ones aren't as tight as these ones and these ones have like the rips in the knees and stuff so it's like a bit of a different look. And then I'm also taking some denim shorts. I'm only taking one pair of denim shorts because I prefer to wear jeans over denim shorts. So in the last little thing, these are all the shirts that I'm taking. When I did like my first pack, I literally had like six different white t-shirts, but they were all like a little bit different. So I took some of them out, but I just have a few white t-shirts. Some of them have like different prints and stuff on them. Like this one says exclusive. And then these one, what is this one? Oh, this one's from Bardo. So this just says Centro Pay on it. Um, this one I really like. I don't know, it's just something different. And then this is just like a plain white t-shirt from Glassons. These plain white shirts I like to wear with the black Glassons skirt and just like tie it up. It's just like a really cute outfit. So that's what I like to do with this shirt and this shirt. They're both just plain. And then this one is just a... Actually, no, this one does have a print on it. So this one says Sava. And then it's got those little things on it. And then I'm also taking this maroon um, bodysuit and then a black bodysuit as well. And then I just have a plain black t-shirt and then a, another um, like khaki bodysuit. And then this shirt, it's like a super long t-shirt. They literally so crush. Um, it's got like the tie in the front and then it's like long at the back. Okay, so those are all the clothes I'm taking. Now let's move on to everything else. The other side of my suitcase. And here I've got a little Kentucky travel thing. I've just got like some of the Kentucky documents and everything in there. And then I've also got a belt. This one's cute. It's like a fake Gucci one. Um, and then I've also got my sunglasses. So I'm taking two pairs of key sunglasses. These ones and then just plain black ones as well. And then also got my jewelry case. So this is from Mimco and this is just what I'm taking all my jewelry in. It's super handy to have. So in this top part I have all of my earrings. Okay, I have some from Frankie C. I have Mimco, 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 Mimco and then some more from Frankie C as well. And I have some rings from Pandora and Mimco. More rings from Mimco. And then... It's got a little mirror in it as well, so this will come in handy for like doing my makeup and stuff as well, I guess. I've just got some more different necklaces and bracelets and stuff. Not too much, but enough. I have my makeup brushes. So I've just got a few um, eye brushes, a fan brush and my eyebrow brush. And then in here, I just have my face brushes. And then I have a rain poncho in case it rains. I have some plastic bags because you never know what you might need them for. And then I also just have like this Kentucky bag that I'm taking just to put in any like dirty clothes just to separate them from the rest of my clothes until I wash them just so they're separated. Okay, and now in this part of my suitcase is everything else. Okay, so this side obviously is not as organized as the other side, but I have all of my makeup and skincare and stuff in here. I've got my foundation and cleanser in here because my foundation bottle was glass and it was kind of heavy. So I decided to put it in this little plastic bottle so it's not as heavy. And then my cleanser was literally like a full bottle and I didn't really need to take a full bottle. So this is just the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser and I've just squirted it into this little bottle here and I've put them in plastic bags because sometimes when you fly your liquids can explode and I don't really want foundation or cleanser all over the rest of my makeup 
so I've put them in a separate little plastic bag in case that does happen. And then I just have my face halo that I use to wash my face with. I have like my Fix Plus eyelash curler. I have my moisturizer as well. This is actually the Frank Body Face Moisturizer, but I had this empty little Mario Badescu container thing that used to have this moisturizer in it. Um, so instead of taking the big Frank moisturizer bottle I just put some in here so it's a lot lighter and a lot smaller and then I just got the rest of my makeup um, I tried to cut down as much as I could and I think I did a pretty good job taking one eyeshadow palette bronzer blush powder highlight eyebrows concealer foundation I already showed you primer mascara and then a few lipsticks as well so literally taking the bare minimum because I am probably going to be buying quite a lot of makeup. And then, in this little guy, I have my thing to put into my laptop to, for the SD card. This one goes into your phone for the SD card. And then I have a spare SD card in there as well. And then this I have, which is kind of unnecessary for this to be in a pouch, but it's just the um, US adapter. And then they have like my chargers and everything. So this is a portable charger. I'll probably put this in my carry-on. And then I also have my camera charger as well. And then this is the handbag that I'm taking. I'm just keeping it in my um, suitcase and on the plane, I'm just gonna be using my, carry my backpack as a carry-on. So it does have a strap in there, but I just took it off. But this is just the little handbag that I'm taking. No idea what brand it is or where it's from. It's from some like random little store. I've had this for years, but it's just like a nice little simple handbag that I'm taking. I also have my denim jacket. I am only taking my denim jacket and my leather jacket. I really don't think I need anything else. They both go with everything. Um, and then in here, the last travel pouch, I have the rest of my toiletries and everything. So I have a um, face scrub, I have my body spray, and then I just also have like some razors. I have a, whoop, have a moisturizer, the body wash, dry shampoo, hairspray, and then a little shampoo and conditioner. And I also have some sunscreen in there too. Okay, and then I also have my Juice Plus supplements. Can't go anywhere without these. I've put both into one container so I don't have to take um, two different containers. So I've just counted out how many I'm going to need for the whole trip and put them all in here so I don't miss out on taking them. I'm taking these to make sure that I still get my 30 varieties of fruit and veg every single day. And then for my shoes, I'm taking my boots. Super comfortable, can wear them with anything. I'm also taking some thongs or flip-flops, whatever you want to call them. In Australia, we call them thongs. It's a plain black pair of thongs. And then I'm also taking my Michael Kors just like slide on little shoes. They go with everything as well. And then just these sandals, which are from Kmart. And then I'm also taking my favorite Steve Madden sneakers with the little sparklies on the side. So that is all I have in my suitcase. Now I will show you guys what I'm taking in my carry-on. This is the carry-on that I'm taking. It is just a backpack from, you guessed it, Mimco. Um, it's just non-leather, fits everything in it. Really great. Highly recommend. We'll start off what's in this front little pocket. So in here, I just have my laptop charger. I will also have my phone charger in there, but my phone is on charge right now. And then I also have these TED socks. So basically what these, so basically what these are, these are the socks that you wear in hospital that stop your feet from swelling. So, okay, now into the main part of the bag. So the first thing I have is another one of those little travel cases. So in here, I just have everything that I'm planning on using for the plane. So I've just got my pill and then I also have a hairbrush. This is from Kmart, super, super light. And then I'm also taking some toothpaste, a deodorant and this little Tom Ford perfume as well. Just a little, whoop, just a little travel size one. Um, obviously taking me in a plastic bag because they're liquids and aerosols and that kind of stuff needs to be in a clear bag for when you're going through customs and stuff. 
and then I'm also taking a toothbrush and then I'm also taking just some face wipes and then also a face mask to do on the plane this is just one of the sheet face masks so you don't have to worry about washing it off your face or anything you can just rub it into your skin when you take the face mask off so inside the bag I also have this pouch which is from Mimco <laughs> Everything I own is from Vimco. I have this little pouch that has my cards and everything in it. And then I also have my passport holder, which is also from Vimco. Literally everything is matching Vimco. Um, yeah, that's all I have in there. My passport holder, oh, my passport, my wallet. So that's just like super easy if I'm like when I'm at the airport I can literally just have this on my back and then have this in my hand because it has all like everything else I need in it. Don't have to worry about carrying around a handbag or anything like that. And then I also have my headphones because you know you need headphones. I have a little scrunchie as well in case I want to put my hair up. And then I also have this ginormous scarf which is taking up 90% of my bag but this scarf can literally double as a blanket. It is huge. It is from Cotton On. It is so warm. So this is what I'm taking on the plane to kind of use as like a blanket or a scarf. Or I can even fold it up and use it as a pillow because it's so big. Then the only other thing I have in here is my laptop. So I'm not actually taking a case because it is going to be in my backpack. And the case is going to make it 10 times heavier and it doesn't actually fit in there with a case. So I've just got this, um, it's the wrong way around. So I've just got the burger, um, hard case on it. So this is still like protecting it a little bit, but it's just not as heavy as the other case. So that is everything I'm packing for my trip. I'm super excited. We're doing a, um, a layover so we're flying our first stop is LA but we're flying from Sydney to Honolulu and then Honolulu to LA so we have a three-hour layover in Hawaii and um, our second flight so from Hawaii to LA we upgraded to first class I've never flown first class before it's a little bit expensive a little bit more money than I wanted to spend but I thought you know what never gonna be able to do this again probably um, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I've always wanted to fly first class and I'm already spending all of my money so why not just spend that a little bit extra um, so I'm super excited about that as well I'm very excited for this trip I've worked very hard to save all of my money and now I'm just you know doing a one big treat yourself um, obviously I am going to be vlogging while I'm over there so go ahead and subscribe and turn on my notifications to be notified when I upload my next video which will be my first vlog but yeah I'm super excited also follow me on Instagram to see all the pictures that I'll be posting yeah I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video